Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Thursday, October 7th. Elon Musk announced that Tesla is officially moving its headquarters to Austin, Texas. During the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, Musk said that Tesla would leave California after he grew frustrated with the restrictions making it harder for the automaker to begin production. Musk himself officially relocated to Texas, a move that made headlines in itself. With the company headquarters moving, it makes sense that the exact location would be at or around Gigafactory, Texas, a place which Musk reiterated will become an ecological paradise. Despite moving the company headquarters, he said that Tesla plans to grow vehicle production at Fremont by 50%. Some shareholders were undoubtedly pleased that he didn't talk politics about the move, only stating that they took the Bay Area and California as far as they could go. Elon Musk has released a few additional details about Tesla's full self-driving beta wider release, which should start tomorrow. Last week, Musk said that Tesla would start pushing the update to around 1,000 new owners per day, starting with those with the best so-called safety score. More on that in a bit. Today, Musk updated, saying, quote, Full self-driving beta 10.2 rolls out Friday midnight to around 1,000 owners with perfect 100 out of 100 safety scores. Rollouts will hold for several days after that to see how it goes. If it looks good, beta will gradually begin rolling out to 99 scores and below. Now, the safety score, which this release hinges upon, has drawn some criticism for docking points too easily and for adding points for potentially dangerous driving, such as driving slow on the freeway. Musk addressed this by saying, quote, Definitely further refinements coming to early beta safety test score. It will be refined continuously until it is an extremely good predictor of crash probability. Exciting actuarial problem. Tesla has decided to expand the market for solar roof tile installations to anywhere in the United States. Until recently, Tesla solar roof installations were limited, with some approval, to markets in the U.S. within a relatively short distance of Tesla's energy warehouses. Now, sources familiar with the matter told Electrek that Tesla opened up installations of solar roof to anywhere in the USA. Tesla will send people to survey the houses prior to going forward with any project in order to make sure the structures are good candidates. A network of EV charging stations has been installed along the Manali Le route in the Ladka region of northern India. The area is a tourist destination with its stunning scenery, Buddhist sites, and ecotourism. EV charging solutions brand Powerbank installed the charging points with 18 Type 1 and 2 chargers installed along 1,108 miles. It also goes up to 10,000 feet above sea level. Scientists at the Resell Center have developed an innovative process for separating the valuable materials that make up a battery cathode. The scientist's method is called froth flotation. They write, quote, What the researchers found was that separation can be achieved by making one of the cathode materials, NMC111, float via the introduction of a chemical that makes the target repel water. Once the cathode materials were separated, the researchers determined through testing that the process had a negligible impact on the electromechanical performance of the materials. This is actually a really exciting development in electric recycling. Here are other players in the field. Tesla co-founder J.B. Straubel's new company, Redwood Materials, is on target to recycle and resell batteries and materials. Nissan is actually working to recycle EV motors. However, their process is a little less technical. They just melt the internal magnets with excessive heat. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.